is Thursday, which means it's spacing out day. And as the sky gets darker earlier into the night, we have had the opportunity to view some really special sights in the night sky more than we would have a few weeks ago. Oh, that's definitely true. And we've got another one coming up this time. It's a meteor shower and this one's a little on the mysterious side. Hmm. The lean hits can, can go from really amazing to like nothing actually happened tonight. This is one of the more variable ones. November's top meteor shower can both dazzle and disappoint depending on the year. It peaks on the night of November 17th typically. Um, it's uh, a reasonably good meteor shower. It's something like 10 to 15 an hour above average if you are far from city lights and there's no full moon. And moonlight will be very low this year, especially before midnight. While the meteor count may only peak around a dozen per hour, this meteor shower has a tendency to bring longer, brighter, and more colorful streaks of light compared to most. And the meteors are also faster, clocking in at 44 miles per second. Meteor showers are always unpredictable. Sometimes they overproduce, sometimes they underproduce. This meteor shower has been a dud in the past, but it has also produced rare meteor storms. Meteor shower is a result of cometary dust left behind by a comet, and then the Earth crashes into these small particles, um, and as they enter our atmosphere, they glow. And more dust equals more meteors, and about every 33 years, the comet that produces the dust trail travels through the inner solar system. In 1966, this meteor shower turned into a storm with a 1,000 meteors in just 15 minutes. But that's just a sample of what's possible. On November 12, 1833, Americans were deeply terrified when the sky lit up with more than 100,000 meteors per hour. So could this year bring a rare meteor storm? Experts say probably not. There's a better chance of that in the early 2030s as the comet makes a return trip into the inner solar system. So then the big question is, can we see this? Obviously, we've had a lot of clouds all the way through this week, and the meteor shower does peak tonight. The bad news, we've got more clouds that look like that'll be on the way. This does not look to be a, like a very good night to view this. In fact, we may have some snow flurries and we've got the red stars up there all the way through, meaning viewing conditions not good. Now, there is some good news with this because also there have been some experts saying, hey, coming up late on the 18th and the 19th, there may actually be a little outburst of meteors again. There's always uncertainty, but that uh, outlook has been thrown out there. Well, coming up tomorrow night, there's actually a better chance of seeing this. Maybe some clouds early, but then the sky does begin uh, to uh, thin out there with the cloud cover. So definitely worth uh, trying to see that, but you got to bundle up for it. Definitely a lot of cold to go around as well. Very cool. Thank you, Ross.